As an Immortal 3 playing from Better On, I'll give you one specific tip I think is important for every map so you get to take the wins easier. On Fracture, you have to play more aggressive on defense. The complex build map is ideal for taking early space and trapping your enemies. If the other side has a lot of contact, don't hesitate to push slowly but surely to either get a great flank on retake, pressuring the enemy by destroying the traps or taking the info to stack a side. Bind special feature the teleports spread around the map, so use them to your advantage. Give calls to your teammates to either make big plays on defense or set up the strongest fake pushes on attack. If for example the A push did not go as fast as you hoped, don't hesitate to tell your team to take the TP to B and do not waste your time fighting for the bomb site that might already be stacked by your enemy. Attack on Breeze can be a pain in the ass, but many players are too afraid to use all of its entrances. If you struggle to take the A site, make sure to push halts fast. Smoke off this angle and open the door. You don't even have to try to get kills. The open door puts so much pressure on the enemy that they lose most of their cover. When your team enters the site now, your chances of taking it will increase more than you could imagine. Planting the spike on the right spot can win you a lot more games on Pearl. On B, you should always plant the spike in this corner. Fall back with your team and the enemy team almost has no chance to retake the round anymore. Putting the A side on Icebox right can be a big challenge even for Immortal Plus players. Taking A lobby control with a reveal instantly is a must for every round. You should not go for belt if you know the enemy has an operator. Usually a fast rush with initiator's abilities will do the trick. One more tip is to let the sentinel flank mid late to surprise the enemies from behind. Holding mid on ascent is a big challenge most pros don't even have a solution for. So the best thing to do is to have a trap close to market and to leave it open. Always switch to play 3 on A or B and if they decide to take deep mid you will have 2 to 3 player strongly holding the B side. Pushing into your spawn will rarely work for the enemy since the crossfire from B to A heaven is literally hell for the attackers. Taking the A side as an attacker on Lotus is usually the worst thing you can do since there are too many angles to clear. So whether take outside A, smoke off stairs and go for a split B. Mid control on split is the best thing you can have. Always destroy the sage wall mid and take heaven with a flash from initiator or omen from lobby. From there taking the B side should be no problem. Problem. Smoking off A long as an attacker on Haven is more important than you would think. Now the defenders can't hold solo A since an attacker could have crossed a short without them noticing. This way there will always be two players on A holding short and long or they have to play it fully retake. It gives you a big advantage overall and opens your lurk a great flank possibility.